All right, this is the Algebra 2 intercourse practice, question number 16, and it says, what is the range of the equation below? Okay, well, first off, one of the most important things is range, okay? Range is pretty much just what our y values are. So if we're looking at a graph or a coordinate plane or a grid, we are only concerned with how far up or how far down this graph stretches because, again, our y value is our range and our domain it's going to be our x value left and right but we don't really care about that okay it asks us to graph what this equation looks like so we can figure out what the values are going to be well since this is an absolute value absolute value equation our graph is either going to look like an a or it's going to look like a v okay and whenever you're looking at a number on the inside of your absolute value bars you have to do the opposite of what this number says and then for the numbers that are on the outside you do exactly what that number says and you move that up or down okay so in order for us to graph this we have to first start off by looking at this number on the outside it says up three or positive three positive means up so we need to go up three in order for us to kind of first start by graphing this so we've taken care of this plus 3 portion and then you have to do the opposite of what this says well since this says negative 8 you have to go to the right 8 spaces because again you just have to do the opposite of what that graph says so our vertex is going to end up being somewhere about here okay there's a negative sign out front and since there's a negative that means that our graph is going to look like an A it's going to be kind of upside down here okay so you're going to have an upside down looking figure that's going to look something like this okay that's graphing it by hand and again the question wants to know what's the range or how far up or how far down this graph is going to go well if you're looking at this graph the highest up that this graph is going to be at is going to be a positive 3 okay there is no other number above this 4 5 6 7 all of those numbers don't exist on this graph so the highest is going to be a positive 3 and then everything else is going to be going downward on this graph so we're going to be going through all these negative numbers infinitely okay so we're going to start at positive 3 and we're going to go down infinitely well let's look at what our choices are choice F says all real numbers less than or equal to negative 8 well negative 8 isn't it doesn't matter because this is a positive 3 negative 8 is going to be way down here somewhere and of course we can have values that are higher than that so F isn't correct G all real numbers less than or equal to 3 we're probably thinking that that's going to be correct H all real numbers greater than negative 8 well all real numbers greater than negative 8 is going to be way up here somewhere of course so that can't be it and then J all real numbers greater than 3 it's not going to be anything greater than 3 so we see that that can't be correct either so our correct answer should be G for number 16 another way that you could do this problem is you can again use your calculator to help you and you can plug these directly in this way if you go to Y equals and you plug in negative or a minus sign and then go to absolute value so press math slide over to number ABS it'll put in your absolute value bar so again you can plug in exactly what you see X minus 8 go outside your absolute value and put in plus 3 once you have that plugged in you can press graph and you're going to see that we're going to get a graph that looks awfully similar to the graph that we just graphed by hand as well okay and again you'll be able to see the same type of information that we just figured out when we graphed it by hand that this graph is not going to go anything higher than positive 3 Okay, I hope this helps. Good luck.